Welcome back, fans of all things Disney. I'm sure you can tell by the holiday sweater and the Mickey Santa hat that I have on that we're going to be doing a little something different in this particular video. We have a Disney-themed Christmas village, and while it's a little bit early for us to be putting those decorations up at this point, because we will be gone for Thanksgiving to visit my husband and parents in Florida, and then we will also be down there for Christmas itself, we thought, why not go ahead and set the Christmas Village up now so that not only could you share, but we could enjoy it for at least a few weeks before Christmas and then maybe for a little bit after. It, it all depends. What you'll notice is uh, we have quite a selection of Disney Christmas Village houses as well as other uh, pieces that we use in our Christmas Village where most people have a you know a typical normal sized christmas village in their homes for the holidays uh, we really don't do anything normal sized in this house once we find something that we love to collect we just go all in so uh, our disney christmas village is rather extensive and we hope that you enjoy looking at some of the different pieces one of the first pieces that we will put in our Christmas Village is our Christmas in the 100 Acre Wood. This is a set that we purchased used from an eBay seller. And as you can see, it's got several of the different lighted houses and or trees, I should say, as well as all of the characters represented. The next set that we added was the Disney Princess Castle set. And as you can see, it has Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty has Belle and the Beast, and it also has Snow White. And you can't have a princess Christmas village without a frozen ice palace. And the last piece that we have for our Disney princess portion of the Christmas village is the Little Mermaid Undersea Palace. This part of the Christmas Village is the Disney Christmas Carol. You'll see some of your basic figures that you might see in the Christmas Carol Disney movie. Mickey's Ear Factory is probably one of my favorite pieces in this collection. I just love all of the detail with the gears as well as some of the other components that you see on the piece. I really lucked out one year and Sears had all of their Disney Christmas Village pieces or at least some of them on sale for over 50% off so I stocked up. Donald's Toys is a piece that I treated myself to for my birthday one year, even though my birthday happens to be in April, I found this in one of the gift shops in a local town, and they happened to have a coupon code, so of course I went ahead and I used that, and I was able to get this at a very reasonable price. The Disney train station is one that I purchased from Sears when they had that beautiful sale going on, and when this is lit up, it's just absolutely stunning. Mickey's Christmas Carol is, I'm sorry, Mickey's Christmas Castle is one that my parents purchased for me for Christmas, the first year that I started collecting the Christmas Village. And believe it or not, I actually only started collecting Christmas Village pieces three years ago. So this entire collection is only three years in the making. The water tower for Mickey's Village is my absolute favorite piece in this entire Christmas Village. It just brings me back to Hollywood Studios before they took the water tower down. And it is one of the tallest pieces. I think it's actually the tallest piece in the entire collection. And it really does just stand out when it's all set up. And this piece is the piece that got this whole ball rolling. Uh, this is the Mickey's Christmas Carol piece. And this series, when it was put together, was put in these uh, brown boxes that just say Heritage Vin Village Collection, Disney Parks Village Series. And there are several of them, but you can't really tell what they are from the outside. So let's get these opened and set up. And here is the semi-finished product after approximately three hours, some emergency surgery for some of the pieces that accidentally fell out of their cases and had a little shattering. Thank heavens for Gorilla Glue. 
We have a nearly finished Christmas village, and I say nearly finished because even though I had some extra bulbs, we clearly did not have enough extra bulbs. First time we've ever put this together and needed quite so many. You'll notice some of the smaller pieces that I didn't show in the boxes. Some of the trash can ornaments, as well as some of the individual pieces that went with the different sets. This here came from Wilderness Lodge. It was one of the little totem pole statues that they had. I thought it would be perfect for the Christmas village. You know, and as we go through, you can see we have some mixing of genres here, mostly because uh, we simply don't have the space for everything. I need to add in quite a few more inches to be able to really show everything. But everything does have a place, albeit kind of scrunched together, and of course without light <laughs> for some of them. But I will update this as soon as we get some new bulbs, hopefully tomorrow. But I was kind of hoping to get this video up and loaded for people for today or for tonight. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do that. And then I will just give you an update as soon as I am able to get everything completely finished with lights for everything. And that was one of my newer additions. That's, of course, the Walt and Mickey statue. It was an ornament that we just cut the ornament holder piece off of. And out of all of these different pieces, my absolute favorite, again, Mickey's Christmas Carol. This piece right here, it is the one that started it all. I found it on eBay that it was the most beautiful thing I had seen as far as a Christmas Village piece was concerned and knew that I had to have it. So we hope you enjoyed just taking a quick glimpse into our Disney Christmas Village. It certainly has been a labor of love over the last few years trying to pull everything together. My husband has gone out of his way to be very supportive with my collecting of the Disney Christmas Village pieces and many of them that you saw on the table were items that he sought out for me so that I could have them and add those into the collection. So until our next video and us getting some light bulbs for the houses, have a wonderful rest of your day.